A Course in Miracles, Workbook for Students, Volume 2, Part 2, Lesson 297. Forgiveness is the only gift I give. Forgiveness is the only gift I give because it is the only gift I want. And everything I give, I give myself. This is salvation's simple formula. And I, who would be saved, would make it mine to be the way I live within a world that needs salvation and that will be saved as I accept atonement for myself. Father, how certain are your ways, how sure their final outcome, and how faithfully is every step in my salvation set already and accomplished by your grace. Thanks be to you for your eternal gifts and thanks to you for my identity. Where it says, and I'm going to read that last sentence, and I who would be saved would make it mine to be the way I live within a world that needs salvation, and that will be saved as I accept atonement for myself. Would The footnote is would make it mine means would make it my formula, the way that I do things, the way that I react to things. So forgiveness is the only gift I give because that's all I want is forgiveness. And so let's be practical because I want this to be practical, not out in the pie in the sky kind of teaching or lesson. There's so many people in our lives that we believe have done us wrong. Parents, siblings, bosses, neighbors, other foreign nationals, other countries, doesn't, you name it, doesn't matter from whence the affliction came upon you or from whom. Forgiveness is not just the acknowledging that it, it didn't happen because in, in reality it happened to you and it's real and it's an experience. Forgiveness is the holiness within me sees the holiness within you and you are reacting to life and its circumstance through the frame of reference that you have created about this world. And I see that. I see that you are a reactivity of a bundle of mental and emotional stimuli that has resulted in something being done to, against me or whatever the case is, but I'll let that go. Because I know that deep within, there is a part of us that is united. Deep within, there is a connectivity to all things. And I'm not talking the physical form here. But when it comes to forgiveness, a part of me is talking about the physical form. I forgive you because all I want is forgiveness. And I know what it's like to feel, I really don't like people not liking me. I had this thing growing up that I wanted to be, you know, I'm not a, not a people pleaser, but I didn't want people to dislike me. And as I got older and wiser, I didn't actually care. I didn't care what people's response was to me. So long as my conscience was clear that I spoke with humility, compassion, kindness, truth, honesty, and where I fell short and let myself down and I reacted in a way that wasn't befitting to how I should have, I believe I should have, reacted to something I need to forgive myself and others yes but I need to forgive myself because forgiveness is the only gift that I want to give because I want to get it and then I want to receive it back I, imagine if everyone could forgive others and everybody's forgiving you that needs to imagine this flow of forgiveness being what it is that takes to block that to unblock that storm water drain that has blockages of leaves that build up and then there's an overflow and then there's a stench that goes with it and it's toxic and it becomes disgustingly polluted. Imagine if forgiveness is the power and the force that unblocks that and opens the doorway throughout the whole world to every single person. Imagine a world where forgiveness is really and truly a number one priority to ourselves and others. It's very, very powerful.
Forgiveness is the only gift I give. I honestly want to ask you to do something for me. If not for me, then at least for yourself. I want you to sit and think, who are the people that I need to forgive? And where do I need to forgive myself? And don't be become flippant about it and go, oh, I don't need to forgive anyone. And anyway, they're such an asshole. They deserve my unforgiveness. And don't don't look at it as though you're looking at yourself going, well, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I was an idiot. No. Imagine the energy behind that going with you wherever you go. It's so toxic. Who would want to take that stench with you? Let it out. Let it go. Let it be. Really sit with this. I love you. And if anything I've ever said offends you, that's never ever my intention. I speak from the heart. I, like you, am a student of life and I will learn wherever I go. So I'm hoping that my own exploratory journey will help you in the process as well. So until tomorrow, take care.